Now, let's start composing emails. So to do that, press the Compose button in the top left corner. You'll be presented with this. In the To section, you can enter any email. So let's just say I want to email myself. Then I can add carbon copies and blind carbon copies, just as with other email providers. I can add a subject, and I can add content here. I won't do that in this case. Something that I'll mention is I can actually full screen this. So if I have a bigger email, it allows me more space to write things. I can uh, miniaturize it as well. While it's in this case, while it's in a miniature form, I can actually go to different sections so I can read an email while composing a new email. So it allows for multitasking. In the bottom section, I have a menu options. So the A represents formatting options. So I can change the font, letter size, bold, italics, underline, color, and many others. I can add files by either clicking on this button or just dragging and dropping from my uh, computer home screen or any folder. I can add, attach files using the drive, which, which we'll be getting into after, and some other things, including inserting links. I'll discard this for now. Now to reply to an email, I can just click on an email. Here it is. Press this reply button. And now here we are, and I can just type something in, same menu options in the bottom, and then send it by clicking the send button. I'll delete it for now. And be beside the reply button, I have more options here. So I can reply, forward, print this email, add that person who emailed me to my contacts list, and even report it as spam. So if I do that, then Google will make sure that emails such as this one don't get sent to me in the future and are automatically put in the spam folder. And lastly, I can even mark it as unread. So if I do that, then once again, this email is bold and it'll act as a new email for me to read. Go back and now it's no longer bold.